Here's how you solder on a spade lug connector. So I'm gonna cut this back about an eighth, like this, without cutting the center conductors. So they're right there. And I'm gonna try that again, make sure I didn't lose any of the strands. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did, I cut through mm -hmm. a couple of them. So I'm gonna shorten it up again. So it's just about the, the you know, 3 sixteenths of an inch or so. Mm -hmm. Now that's a little bit too big for this because that's a that's for a number 14 wire and this is a smaller wire. But I'm still gonna put this on. So I'm gonna do this. Put this on here like this. And I know it's too small, but we'll just go one side over like this. I'm gonna be on one side of this little cut. And I, oops, put that in there. Pinch this down. And then I'm gonna do the other one over the top of it. You won't have to flatten it this much because you're dealing with a bigger piece of wire. So, got that, right? And it's on here. If I pull hard, I can pull that right off. I don't like crimp connectors because they're not permanent. Pull that like that. Get a piece of solder. This is soldered. This flux. Solder has flux in it. I'm going to put the heat right here. And I'm going to put the solder. I'm going to put the solder on the iron and the junction of the metal at the same time. So as soon as it starts to metal, melt, it flows. And I'm going to use that to get a lot of surface area contact, get that heat in there. And I'm going to push, keep pushing the solder in, and you will see it start to flow. See how it's shining this up here? And that just goes down inside of it. And it flows. Yep, it flows in here. I'll show you. So that's done. Mm -hmm. That's ready for heat shrink right there. All right, I'm going to show you what happened inside there. So this is what happens when you solder. Solder flows like a, like a water and a sponge. And if I just heat this up, watch. See it flowing around in there? Mm -hmm. It has surface tension just like water by moving the iron around a little bit like this. I can actually make that solder flow up inside underneath the insulation. Because hmm. it follows the heat and it follows the copper. And if you go to bend this, See where that's trying to bend? Yeah. It's because it's it actually went up inside here. Hmm. So if you cut it, you'll be able to see it. I believe it. I believe you'll see that. Yep. I just I don't generally do this. I like the solder to flow up inside. This is where it ended before. And see, there's solder up in there. Yeah. Because otherwise, if you solder this and it doesn't flow up inside there, it wants to bend always right at yeah. that point mm -hmm. instead of it being a little bit. See how this one? Yeah. It's a little bit stiffer back in maybe an eighth of an inch past there. That stiffens this up. And putting the heat shrink on here will, will spread that bend out even more. Mm -hmm. So then we'll throw the heat shrink over the outside and heat it up. Yep. So you want to see you want to see a demo of that? Sure. Is this one I gave you? Yeah. I don't know. Mm, it's tight. But if I wanted to leave the end open, I would do something like this. Heat shrink tubing. And I can go all the way over the top of this like this. And slide that down. So I can still put another one in. Like, oh, over the end of the Yeah, so I could it. still take a male connector and plug it in here, right? Mm -hmm. But now this is bare and sticking out. So you want it to go over it on both that. sides, right? But uh, but if I did this and then I did the other one and I and I heat shrinked it up to here, you'd have very little metal showing. Mm -hmm. And I like this better more water resistant well that plus you Better saw how fl how flimsy that piece of metal mm -hmm. was it holds on better yeah because if, if this original piece had been here like this mm -hmm. and we just crimped it the only strength we'd have holding that wire is these little things here and then when you go to solder this these get all <clears throat> gummy and melt and probably when you go to take it off the other side it could pull off from yeah you'll wire. pull the thing right off yeah, right so but this is soldered on plus now your heat shrink tubing goes all the way down to here so you don't even have that weak spot at the joint mm -hmm. between the two so now if you go to bend this it spreads that bend out over an inch of wire mm -hmm. so in a lot of vibration and stuff it's going to be really stiff okay